today we are going to create or to study or how to create a blog application like this like this blog application now this is a template HTML template that I'm showing you but we are going to, to connect it with the, the backend backend will be supported by Django and uh, Python of course with the content management system called Wagtail. So this is the blog application we will be creating. The blog application that we will be creating will look like this template, this HTML template. And uh, this is uh, the welcoming page. Now the index page, OK? Now let's see the post or one single post that we will be looking. Uh, we, we will need a single post to be like this, okay? This will be a single post. Now you can see it have a callous image. It have the, the header title, to header title, to paragraph, another image with a caption. A quote. They have two images part, okay. And those two images will have a captions. They also it will also have a bullet list. And by the end we will list all tags corresponding to this post, single post. So why use Wagtail as a content management system? Now, you can see here, one author will decide to have a header image, a single header image without a carus. The other will need to use a carus uh images as a uh, header images okay and another author will will not need to include this image and we also but he he'll maybe he will maybe need to use uh, two quotes or to give two quotes to his uh, leader and um, he can also decide to put a paragraph with two images okay so that's why we need a uh, worktail as a content management system worktail is a very very strong and uh, it make life easy when you are creating something like this so that's why i decided to to give you a glimpse of how and when to use this um, content management system of Django called Wagtail. Okay, so let's start to create something, something like this, and I hope it will be very uh, helpful for you guys. And uh, yeah, it will be uh, something else which. Uh, you can include into your in into your portfolio. Okay, let's start. How do we start? I already have the environment. But if you don't know how to create an environment, it's very simple. You can check it on website and uh, so many website that show you how to create an an environment. After creating your environment, you have to activate it. What that's what I'm going to do. I will activate my environment. Okay. Now this time, uh, I will um, install the Wagtail. Okay. Content management system. How do we install content? Uh, how do we install um, Wagtail? We just Type pip install 
Worktail. I already have Worktail installed, but if you don't have Worktail, install it like that. Okay. After installing Worktail, we will start our project. How do we start the Worktail project? We, is, we start it by typing Worktail start and after start you put your project name my name my project will be my site and don't put, don't forget to include the, this period okay oh sorry i should now the project is already started as you can see this is my site folder and it will contain the setting folders the static folder the template folder this is how the project will look like okay we then have to start the application the application will be called the blog application Uh -huh. After that, you include it into your project settings. And you save it. That's it. After that, you make migrations. Now you migrate your database. Okay, Python manage py migrate. That's it, guys. After doing your migrations, you create a super user. That's it guys. Now let's start our application by learning servers. Okay. This is it guys. This is our project this is how worktail this is a, the welcoming page of a worktail project okay next we are going to create some models into our application that we've just created started called the blog thank you